I'm at its spine, we're in Indiana. Mm. But yeah, Kazuya versus Ness. So uh -oh. no shortage of the Ness Three, action on this stream. One, yeah, go. yeah, plenty of Ness action. But unfortunately, uh, Ness kind of has like, you know, that similar in your face game plan. Jesus I, Christ. Even though it's looking great, I can't imagine that this matchup is great because we all know that when Kazuya gets his feet on the ground and he goes invincible, this will shape up not good for Spectre. But. Hey, what if you just never let him touch the ground? Right. What I love about that whole thing is that Spectre stood still for three seconds. I thought it was a butt check, and then he's mm. like, here's nope. an 80% combo. <laughs> it's like, oh no, it's it's hands. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. He was warming up. He's one of the wretches. He had slow start. He's yeah, just yeah. Like, we'll get there, we'll get there. Oh, that was wow. really important, being able to stuff that side view from the ledge. Kazi has loved going for that. Yeah. It leads to so much. It very often leads to a stop. So Spectre definitely like well aware of where Kazi is threatening and just kind of playing on the platforms and just not being on the ground with them, which I think is just what you have to do to Kazi. Yes, yes. Because if you play in that short hop on the ground, in honestly, even in the air, mm -hmm. because electric is just anti-air, ground call out, and shield pressure all in one. So. Yeah. The platform is really the only safe place. I feel like the way the Spectre is engaging is really smart. Like, he's not going in unless he sees a whiff to punish. But other than that, he's just way out of Rob's zone. Rob can't really get comfortable. You see him kind of, like, flail a little bit. We even saw him just throw out that S-Mash, kind of just, like, hoping Spectre would be there. So yeah. he finds the Electric, goes for the first tech, doesn't Ooh. hit it, though. And, and the Command Grab, not enough to take it without the Rage on. Yeah. You get damage, but that's not really what you want. As Kazi, you want these stocks, mm -hmm. uh, but luckily you have a bunch of buttons that can't do that. But Spectre just kind of running the show right now. All right, Rage Command Grab is here, mm -hmm. and immediately yep. from the ledge finds that from Spectre. That definitely caught me off guard. It, um, it feels like it always does. Right. Fully didn't see that coming. Ooh. But Spectre playing really well. Uh, we're seeing some cool combos with the, the PK Fire. We're seeing some fun extensions with the side magnet. I really like the way he's cooking. Yeah. I would have to say anything. You know, BM Rob is just standing in that perfect spot for Spectre to do these down angle PK Fires, and they connect perfectly every time. And that's exactly what Spectre is looking for. Mm -hmm. So, gotta kind of mix up your positioning and uh, put him on notice with, like, you know, Kazuya. Like, movement is, like, his best quality and his worst quality all at the same time because right. he has the worst double, one of the worst double jumps in the game, but he does have that invincible dash on the ground, so you just got to pick your spots. Yeah, going to have one last chance to make it back to the stage, but he's already at 163%. Got not one, but two socks to take. It looks like Spectre is going to just not even give him the opportunity, go for that up air from the ledge, and just, he really played around Kazuya's, like, threat zones, like, flawlessly. Yes, yes. And on top of that, you know, what I'm super impressed by, too, is that not only did he play around Kazuya's threat zones, he also was able to, um, after getting in, got the damage. Like, actually had the execution to do big, huge combos and put that Kazuya on notice. It's like, yeah, I did 80 to you whenever I interact with you. It, it, how does it feel to have the shoe on the other foot? Yeah, it really was. <laughs> you even see, you even see uh, one of the players just kind of rolling their eyes and like, yeah. that's not how that's supposed to go down. Yeah. And I agree, that's not how that's supposed to go down. Uh, but let's see if we can maybe see some adaptations in game two. One thing that I think people kind of sleep on is like, of course, if you're air camping Kazuya, it's harder for him to get stuff. But I've seen Wilds get a lot of confirms, just like, and Riddles both get a lot of confirms from just like a full hop forward air and being able to like drag down and get stuff. So yeah. he's going to have to kind of go to the skies a little bit. Even if he doesn't win every exchange, at least can test it so the Spectre isn't like as comfortable just hanging back at full hop and throwing these PK fires out. Yeah, I was talking to my friend the other day about Kazuya's design, and he Ooh. awkwardly has a lot of great aerials, so I would love to see BM Rob, you know, utilize them. Yeah, me too, but ooh. right now, ooh, perfect stock from Spectre, only taking 7% just kind of randomly. Uh, already in the same position we saw in the previous game, uh, definitely just throwing those PK fires out and staying way out of range of all these electrics. Rob's just kind of throwing them out, hoping one of them catches, but Spectre's just always like a roll and a half away, so he just stays safe. Yeah, and just spot dodging whenever in that burst zone and just perfectly evading all of BM Rob's like combo starters. Ooh. Ooh. Got some nice stuff going there. All right, we see the down throw, but no. Oh. Doesn't get to uh, move forward and get the electric. We're starting to see something here. Upbeat, or oh. maybe a back air could have done it. I'm not sure. Yeah. But again, he tried the first tech, didn't find it, and now he's got to recover against his yo-yo. Barely makes it to the ledge. Oh, yeah, that was... BM Rob got to thank the stars and stride for uh, getting back to for that one. But. For sure. <laughs> 
uh, the classic yeah. Nets trick, using that PK Thunder 1 to just kind of make the ledge safe for him. Bielen Rob was not ready to cover that on the edge guard, but this is looking like a three stop if he finds his down air. <laughs> no, yeah. Spectre just barely misses it. And still recovers though. Oh, no. I lied. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was a roller coaster right there. Yeah, it was a little bit. You know, I, I, I'm along for the ride. Mm -hmm. Oh, once again, on the down throw at zero, not getting anything. Ooh. It feels like a lot of things that are going down is just like not how you would typically feel like this set would play out. Yeah. Like, you, you see Kazuya, you expect to see all the crazy custom combos, but it's just all been Spectre just yeah. pulling out some <laughs> really niche nest stuff that I just don't see very often. Yeah, and unfortunately not getting the electric on that second uh, Godfist, and there goes yeah. the back air. Super powerful, super strong, and a quick 2-0 there for Spectre. Yeah, it just looked like Rob was not... I just don't think he was prepared. Mm -hmm. um, because Kazuya gets so much mileage out of people just running up to him, but Spectre was just like... There's no circumstance where I'm gonna run up on you. And like Rob found like one or two chances to get something with like a down throw, but never like any like, oh, he got an electric at 20, how far can he take this? It was always just like a straight hit at best. And that's not where Kazuya shines. Yeah, and I, I don't know this what to say. Crazy. It's like, yeah, like having to play Kazuya where you're only getting like one or two straight hits is just probably not a fun experience because the character does have a terrible disadvantage. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're facing a combo fiend, you're really going to feel it. Yeah, yeah, I think he just was not ready to... Um, I don't think he had any anti-airs prepared for Ness. That's like one of the things it came down to. Like, of course, he couldn't get any combo starters, but even just like smacking him out of the air, he wasn't very successful with that. Like, we saw him try to do it with like F tilt. We even saw him try to reflect the PK fire with F tilt at some point, which I'm sure would have been hilarious. But yeah. <laughs> he just really couldn't control the skies, and that's just something he's gonna have to work on. Because, yeah. like you said, Kazuya's aerials, they're weird, but they're not bad. Like, they're not bad at all. Back air has crazy range. Mm. Forward air is like a combo starter. Yep. Um, up B if you're nasty, you know? Yeah, like, exactly. You really get a read? Up air.